I'm going to show you how to calculate Cohen's D with two means. In this situation, we have colds with vitamin C at 120 milligrams per day versus colds with vitamin C at 2,000 milligrams per day. The mean here is 4.3 and the standard deviation is 1.2. The mean here is 1.2 and the standard deviation is 0 0.45. And so the first thing you do is you take the difference between the means. So 4.3 subtract 1.2. So I'm just going to go equals. I'm actually just going to click on the cell minus sign and click on the other side. That's the difference between the two and literally in B4 and B5. And I'm just going to press enter. So the difference is 3.1 which you probably could do in your head. The next step is to take the average standard deviation. Okay so I'm going to equals average bracket and I'm just going to drag over these two values close it up with a parenthesis and press enter so the average standard deviation is 0 0.83 now cal to calculate Cohen's D you simply divide the mean by the average you want to know how many standard deviations go into the the actual mean difference here all right so there's 3.1, so I'm just going to say equals 3.1 divided by 0 0.83. I'm going to reduce the number of decimals. And so what they're saying here, what that value says is, the difference of 3.1 is the equivalent of 3.8 standard deviations, almost four standard deviations different. That's huge in, uh, compared in Cohen's scale. In fact, let me just show you the, what Cohen says. His rule of thumb, and it's fairly general, if it's the difference is 0.1 standard deviations, we consider that a small difference. If it's 0.3 standard deviations, we consider it a medium difference. And if it's half a standard deviation in difference, we consider that a large difference. In this case, is 3.8 standard deviations, so that's very, very, very big off the scale big. So we would say that there is a meaningful difference. It's probably statistically different, but it is also meaningfully different. And that's how you calculate Cohen's D using Excel.